radioactive isotopes have many applications in everyday life including food industry, archaeology, and medicine. So what are radioactive isotopes? The periodic table displays 118 chemical elements arranged by their atomic numbers. An atomic number is equal to the number of protons in an atom and it defines what an atom is. For example, an atom with 8 protons is oxygen. The atoms of the same element, however, can have different number of neutrons. When the atoms of the same element have different number of neutrons, they are called isotopes. The word isotope comes from the Greek word isos, meaning same, and topos, meaning place. As the name implies, isotopes occupy the same place on the periodic table. Basically, isotopes are different forms of the same element. Some isotopes have an unstable combination of protons to neutrons. These isotopes are called radioactive isotopes. Radioactive isotopes decay or break down into a more stable form, and while doing so, they release alpha particles, beta particles, or gamma rays, which may be harmful. This makes radioactive isotopes dangerous, and we need a special protection to work with these. Whoops! Stable isotopes do not decay or decay very slowly. Did you know that cesium and xenon have the most number of isotopes? They both have 36 known isotopes. So how are radioactive isotopes used in everyday life? Number 5. In archaeology. Carbon has three naturally occurring isotopes. Carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. Carbon-12 and carbon-13 are stable. On the other hand, carbon-14 is unstable or radioactive. Carbon-14 has a half-life of about 5,700 years, meaning after 5,700 years, half of the carbon-14 disappears. Archaeologists compare the ratio of carbon-12 to carbon-14 in order to determine the approximate age of the biological matters such as dinosaur bones. This process is called carbon dating. Number 4. In food industry, the radiation produced by some radioactive isotopes can be used to kill bacteria on a variety of food. Produce such as tomatoes, mushrooms, sprouts, and berries are irradiated with the gamma rays produced by cobalt-60 or cesium-137. Eggs and some meat such as beef, pork, and poultry can also be irradiated using this process. Radiation exposure kills bacteria that spoils the food, therefore increases the shelf life of these products. Remember, irradiation of food does not make the food itself radioactive. That's because gamma rays that these radioisotopes produce don't have enough energy to induce radioactivity in food. An advantage of irradiation is that it can penetrate packaging material. This means that food can be prepackaged and then irradiated. Therefore, it eliminates possible contamination during packaging. Number 3. In cancer treatment, iodine has two naturally occurring isotopes, iodine-127 and iodine-131. Iodine-131 is radioactive and it is used in radiation treatments for thyroid cancer. Our thyroid gland needs iodine to work and absorbs nearly all of the iodine in our body. If a cancer patient takes iodine-131, it will concentrate in thyroid cells. Iodine-131 goes through radioactive decay and produces radiation. This radiation destroys the thyroid gland and the thyroid cells, including cancer cells without affecting the rest of the body. It is called radioactive iodine therapy. Number 2. Glow in the dark. Hydrogen has three naturally occurring isotopes. Hydrogen-1, Hydrogen-2, and Hydrogen-3. Hydrogen-3, also known as tritium, is radioactive with a half-life of 12.3 years. 
As tritium decays, it produces beta particles which cause the fluorescent tube to glow. Tritium is used to make things like wristwatch dials, keychains, or exit signs which glow in the dark. Number 1. In medical imaging, technetium 99M is the most commonly used radioisotope in nuclear medicine imaging procedures. TC99M has a short half-life of 6 hours and it does not attach to any organ in the body. This is important because no radioactivity remains after the procedure. Once introduced into the body, TC99M either circulates through the body or gets concentrated in certain tissues. It produces gamma rays with an energy of 140 kilo electron volt, which can easily be detected using imaging techniques such as PET, positron emission tomography. The brain, bones, kidneys, heart, thyroids, and lungs are commonly imaged using this procedure. Well, did you know that technetium 99M is used in what is called a stress test? In this test, the patient gets injected with TC99M into the bloodstream. Then the patient runs a treadmill to make the heart work harder and faster. The patient's heart is scanned before and after the exercise using radiation detectors. Doctors can see how the heart moves the blood in the body and even look for any heart disease. Well, that's it for today. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.